Alright everybody, welcome back to the video game plot summary of Fable The Lost Chapters. In the last one, we finished the original story in which the Jack of Blades shows up, tries to get the dancing chicken, and then when Nate defeats the Jack of Blades, has a choice to use the dancing chicken to win the world, he decides not to do it. Or he doesn't. But in, in the uh, Lost Chapters, he does, I think. Anyway, let's get cracking, shall we? Hero, I'm sorry to disturb you, but we're receiving a message from Scythe, one of our oldest heroes. He left the guild for the Northern Wastes long ago, but now... Perhaps it would be best if you came to the boasting platform outside the guild and saw for yourself. Uh, for some reason, the guild master is still alive. I could have sworn he burned to death in the fire. Um, maybe Briar Rose came back and saved him. I don't know. Many have died. I believe these creatures are known as summoners. My mission here has failed. I will attempt to stop their passage to the mainland. But I require assistance. The strongest among you must open the primal demon door close to this podium. It holds the fire heart. Only the chosen one will gain audience with the prophets. Use the heart to call the ship of the drowned. Hurry before all is lost. Side? Side! Oh, we've lost him. Scorn! Of course, Nate is the chosen one, and he goes to the Cullis Gate. You bear the mask of Jack of Blades. The prophets have foreseen the coming of such a legend among heroes. The prophets turn out to be little more than a bunch of shady men trapped in crystal prisons. The key to the Fireheart and the men getting out of their prisons is the floor puzzle. To obtain the Fireheart, you must solve the mystery of day and night. And we'll finally be free! Nate solves the puzzles. Use his well. There we go. Thank you, hero. Use the Fireheart wisely. Hey, Sonny! Oh. What's happening? The light is so beautiful. Mother, I'm coming. I should just mess one up just to see Excellent. who gets just killed. Just free me next, and you can do what you like. Your time is... Yes, freedom at last in your face, eternal confinement. Should I mess up on this one? Hero. Consider your actions here. Oh dear. <laughs> That's it. There we go. What? You freed me? I, I take it all back. You're a splendid fellow. gets the heart and comes back out to Rose and the Guildmaster. In lieu of the dancing chicken, which Nate threw in the portal for the good ending, the Guildmaster says that there is a powerful sword Maze was looking for that houses the essence of every dead guild member. So Nate takes the fireheart and goes to Maze's quarters for the info. In the journals, Nate finds out that all he has to do is read the inscription on the monument and think about the sword. So, Nate just does that? It's a weird thing. Anyway. We see that you are pure of heart and have sacrificed ultimate power for the good of our land. We judge you worthy hero. May Argo's tear burn through the forces of evil in your hands. Huh. 
How about that? I got two swords in like 15 minutes. I know what you're thinking. Where's the other sword, Yusef? Well, I got you. Here you go. All right, guys, let's see if I'm worthy. You, the giant, must have been a really powerful guy to get the sword stuck like that. We've been trying to pull the sword from the stone, but we can't do it. Why don't you have a go? <laughs> that sword looks really impressive. I can't move it an inch, though. All right, you done? Okay, let's give it a shot, y'all. Hey! Go on, you can do it. Wow, you're as strong as a giant. Wait until the chief hears about this. With that done, Nate heads to the Hook Coast and Hook Coast. That's such a stupid name. The end of the first word of the name has the same sound as the beginning of the second word of the name. Hook Coast. I hate that. Hook Coast. With that done, Nate heads to the Hook Coast and puts the fire heart in the lighthouse. The moment that he does, Briar Rose shows up to wait with him for the boat. That's that's another one of those. Briar Rose. Anyway. According to the books, the ship should arrive as soon as the heart's energy reaches full power. What the hell? A summoner. It's trying to destroy the heart. We have to... We have to protect it. And there's a summoner trying to destroy the heart, so Nate and Briar had to destroy him before they could leave. That happens, and the boat appears. Well... Here's your ride. Looks, uh, cozy. When you get to the Northern Wastes, your guild seal will activate the local teleporters, and I'll be able to join you. Scythe would have done it long ago, but he destroyed his seal before he arrived. Didn't want Maze to know what he was up to, I guess. Nate goes alone, and when he gets to the Lost Bay, Scythe appears to him in a hologram. Welcome to the Northern Wastes, Guildsman. I had feared you lost. I am Scythe, though my name has long been forgotten in the guild. Maze saw to that. Meet me in Snowspire in the far north. I will explain everything, and then we must consult the town's ancient oracle. And on the way through, Nate runs into Briar Rose, who used a teleporter as soon as Nate's seal awoke all the guild teleporters in the area. She finds some structures that have inscriptions she will translate at the guild. We get to Snowspire and find Scythe. Bowers have reached Hook Coast. Then there is less time than I thought, and I have much to tell you. I arrived here many years ago. When the guild believed Jack of Blades would use the Snowspire Oracle in his search for the sword. Now it is we who are in need of its wisdom. To speak with it, we will need the glyphs of inquiry. They were hidden in the Age of Archon by four acolytes who buried them deep in the haunted necropolis. I will send word to the necropolis guards to grant you passage. Nate goes to Necropolis, which is a city for the dead, and starts looking for the glyphs, meaning that Nate immediately picks up a shovel and starts desecrating graves. Sometimes he finds a relic that brings bad guys, and sometimes he finds a glyph that helps the situation. My dumbass was desecrating graves without the map, which had green dots where all the glyphs were. Wow, Yusef, really? So, after fighting a bunch of bad guys and getting the glyphs, 
He heads back to talk to the Oracle. Oh, great Oracle, grant us the knowledge we seek. What evil rises in this land? The prophecy is fulfilled. The guildsman is here. You follow the footsteps of the one who bore the mask you carry. Hmm. Jack of Blades has awakened the dormant power of the summoners. He has used the blood of your family to feed his new shell beyond the Bronze Gate. But now his soul mask is in your hands. You must use it to feed the Archon's shrine and open the gate. Go now and face your destiny. Great. Jack of Blades is still alive. Sort of. That's the problem with sorcerers. You kill them and then it turns out that you didn't. Whenever the writers are afraid to make a bad guy that is equal to or better than the previous one, they say, Oi, Gavna, why don't we just bring back the same guy? <laughs> Fortunately for Nate, the Jack of Blades mask is also a conduit to Jack's commentary. And Scythe goes back to the guild while Nate goes to talk to Briar Rose about those inscriptions in the Bronze Gate. Hey, glad you're still with us. These inscriptions are fascinating, you know. Everything indicates that Jack's new form will emerge from behind the Bronze Gate, and this structure is the key to opening it. But it looks like it'll take the souls of three heroes to activate the mechanism. These things are never simple, are they? It doesn't want just any heroes either. The first instruction calls for the King of the Arena, no less. I suppose you could chop your own head off. But then there'd be no one for me to order around, would there? Why don't you pay Thunder a visit? He knows the arena inside and out. Thunder? I've checked with the guild and they say he's in Knothole Glade. You've still got Jack's mask, haven't you? Good. You'll need it to trap the souls. I still can't believe he might not be dead. Anyway, I better start researching the second inscription. Yes, little hero, I'm back. And our business is not quite finished. You destroyed my sword, remember? Have you any idea how many centuries I spent looking for it? I don't really want to deal with that simp. But we need him, so Nate goes to talk to him in Knothole Glade, the Balverine place. And Thunder is trying to find a job, but there really is no place he is needed. He suggests you go back to the arena to find someone that claims they are a champion. And Jack of Blades, of course, tells Nate to kill Thunder instead. Now go. Unless you're here to take my soul. You've taken everything else. Why go all the way to the arena? You have a perfectly good soul right in front of you. Nate decides that being a simp with no job is painful enough. So, Nate goes to the arena to find people running the opposite way. Jack of Blades hooked Nate up with some bad guys to save people from. When Nate checks the arena, Jack makes him fight more minions plus a troll. And let me go on a rant about the trolls. They are the lamest baddie in this game, bar none. They throw a big old rock as a ranged attack, and when you get close, they stomp the ground for an area of effect attack, or AOE attack. Now they are usually damaged sponges and take you a long time to kill, but you can get close to them and stay behind their back and just slice and dice their butt cheeks. Rock butt cheeks, whatever. However, some genius decided that it would be so dope if you bring them out in a group. Whereas most of the times, you have a ranged guy that you can KO very quickly once you get close. This time, you get a very strong one, pelting you with rocks until you defeat all the melee guys around you. Every time you get hit with a rock, it's a knockdown. So it's just overall chaos, and it's annoying as hell. 
I mean, I've played games that use different groups of people to disrupt your flow. Avatar Legend of Korra did a really good job of this. But I would have a chance to kind of rock, paper, scissors my way through. I'm taking out one group at a time. Here, however, all you can do is clumsily tank your way through this. It's irritating, and I never found a counter. If you know, put it in the comments, please. I really want to know what I missed. So, Nate defeats all the enemies and uses Jack's mask to absorb a random arena champion soul. He takes it back to the gate entrance and puts the soul in. Briar Rose says the second structure wants a heroine, and that means Jack's mom. I know what you seek, son, but Jack has sent a legion of screamers to torment my soul. They won't allow me to leave, and now they will try to take you, too. Jack's spirit is strong, and his new form is almost ready. But I sense how he fears you. Take my soul and avenge our family once and for all. And make him pay, son. He defeats them, gets his mom's soul, and goes back to the gate. I'm sure your mother would be proud. Now, there's just one inscription left. The oldest soul. But we still haven't figured out who that might mean. Oh, come on. We both know who it is, dear Briar. You can't protect the old fool any longer. It's the Guildmaster the Shrine wants, hero. Jack? So it really is true. He's alive, and still up to his old mind games. I hope the Guild Acolytes can come up with a better idea. You should go back to the Guild and speak with him. Now, you do have the option to kill Thunder, Briar, Rose, and the Guildmaster to achieve these things easily, but I didn't really think it would make the game more fun, so I didn't do it. The other old warrior option is Nostro. In the main game, Nate got his armor back together for his tomb so that the Cullis Gate would give Nate entry to the secret entrance that leads to his mom's prison cell. Now we go back to get the soul, which Nostro wants to give us, but won't do it without a fight. Guildsmen, we meet once more. You reclaimed my weapons and armor and brought me peace. Now, I offer my soul in return. But I am Nostro. Mine is a warrior's soul. You must take it in battle so that I may stand proud among my comrades in the afterlife. My men have sworn an oath to protect me even in death. Only when they fall can I be harmed. Now, claim my soul with honor. This one is interesting. You have to lure Nostro into the circle in order to whoop his butt. Nate goes back to the monument and delivers the old soul. That gives Nate the Archon Circle, which opens the main gate. The inscriptions say only one hero will be allowed to pass through the gate, and, hey, guess what? You're the strongest. The game messes up and plays the two different sound files at the same time. It's annoying. Come to the bronze gate. You've received a new quest card. Shut up. Nate goes to the bronze gate. It's been a long wait. 
But I knew you'd free me eventually. Yes, always the puppet. Don't you ever get tired of having your strings pulled? I am no mortal man. The gods and demons you fear and worship are as nothing to me! He's a dragon. Dragon. I mean, I know it's supposed to be epic, but these games keep building up to some shit, and it ends up being a dragon almost every dang time. Lord of the Rings, War in the North, Borderlands 2, Darksiders, Radiata Stories, Demon Stone, Brave Fencer Musashi had two of them. This game, if it has a medieval theme, it's gonna pull out a damn dragon. You're supposed to be like, oh shit, it's a big friggin' dragon. But no matter how ill the dragon is now, I'm just like, of course it's a dragon. Seriously, dude, if I died and became a dragon in hell, then a hero opened up the one door that was imprisoning me, I would fly right the fuck by his ass like, see you later, sucker. I'm a friggin' dragon now, are you kidding me? I'm going to go find some lady dragons. Cash me outside, how about that? That was horrible. I hadn't said that phrase in a while. I don't know why I wrote it in the script. <laughs> Date your plot summary video with a stupid meme, how about that? <laughs> anyway, that was the Lost Chapters plot, and here are the endings. Thank you. The battle is not over yet. You must destroy the mask. Whatever you do, you must not wear it. It was a battle that will be talked about for centuries to come. The day the hero of Oak Vale slew the dragon, Jack of Blades. The day the strange creature behind the mask was finally banished from this world. And this is where our tale must end. Though even the most hopeful of hearts knew the struggle between good and evil would never be truly over. As for what became of the guild and its heroes, that is a story for another time. could not be killed so easily, hero. <laughs> the dragon was slain, and yet a tremor ran through the world. Skies darkened, and every man, woman, and child in Albion succumbed to a petrified hush. The hero and Jack of Blades were one. What chaos and pain they would bring, none could say. Yet even in the most hopeless of hearts, one thing was certain. Wherever evil rose, there would always be someone to fight it. Alright, that was Fable, The Lost Chapters. It was clearly tacked on and wasn't very clever about it. It didn't make a new snowy place, so that was nice. 
but it's DLC in a nutshell. Like, are you tired of playing this fully realized game but you still want to play it? Well, here's a small plot that our story guy thought of on the toilet. I mean, they brought back the Jack of Blades so that you could kill him as a dragon? How cliche is that? It would have been cool if we followed Jack's sister for this one, since she went off to do some soul searching. They are like, The prophecy says the Jack of Blades will come back and the Messiah will save us. But if Jack didn't open the Bronze Gate himself and destroyed the mask immediately, that shit would have been over from the beginning, right? Like, oh, the summoners are coming to summon Jack because he is a dragon in hell now. And he needs this mask to absorb and deliver the souls to the gates? Stomp, stomp, break, smash. Game over. Anyway, thanks for joining me on this journey. I'm just picking Samurai Legend Musashi for the next one. I need a sillier game. Then I'm going to roll through all the games on this list. I'm hoping to get more done. This has been a hell of a year so far. And please be safe, everyone. Stay away from dragons. Peace.